Welcome to Ravens Over. Please hit the notification bell and subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button. Also, I am selling a pair of sneakers, and these are called Two Spirits on a Lot.com. Basically, the website is down at the bottom in the comment section. Spiral, I needed seven people. Here's the video. Let's go. Welcome to Hey! What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you? What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. What's going on, people? It is the day of another day of another day that we call Tuesday. Anybody being said, what's going on, people? Hopefully, everybody's doing everything as far as being safe. And it's what we're living in and knocking down doors and making your dreams come true and practicing ignore. You know, the thing is this, okay, uh, my goal is all over the place and stuff. I want to share something with you now. My new journey in life is, of course, I'm moving forward and a lot of things I know I cannot change and know the difference. And the thing is that I decided I was going to be the kind of person that didn't do what I did before I transitioned. Okay, I guess you don't know I'm going to give a retrack on what I did. When I was gay, and somebody would call me gay, I would fight them. And the fact of the matter is I felt like I was being disrespected. Because you call me gay, you call me a fag. So I would fight you for calling me a fag or gay. And then I went home to my boyfriend. And I thought to myself, well, damn, you must be gay. You must be a fag. Whatever the case may be. Derogatory terms, whatever the case may be. You know, um, I understand. But that's what it was at the time. So I got upset when I went home to my boyfriend. I said, but damn, I am gay. Then I am the fag. I am this thing that they kept saying I am. And except me not really realizing it as far as, you know, standing my truth as being owning all of it. You know what I mean? I own all of it. Because if you own all of it, it doesn't affect you. It loses its power when it comes to you. By no means I'm saying it works for you. By no means I'm saying you should do it. I'm telling you what works for me. Now I've been to I've been to spirits now for almost like almost twelve years now and the thing about it is I always move like low key type of thing and the reason why I do is only because and I hate to say this but a lot of times people kept telling me, Oh my god, you're so beautiful, you're so pretty, you're so pretty, you're so pretty. It scared me. It scared me so bad that I was like, Oh my god, if they think it is about me, then guys are gonna come up to me and I never thought myself as being pretty I never thought, I even never even thought of myself of being passable. And, if, and some of you may understand what I'm saying when I say people say that you're pretty. Sometimes people say that out of empathy or they kind of give you that um, support as far as, you know, making you not feel um, insecure about your transition or who you are and stuff. Not saying there are lies and stuff, but I understand a lot of times we have to support systems that people, some people feel sorry for you. <laughs> they feel like you're never going to make it. And that's how I felt about with me. Now I transition stuff now, it's been almost 12 years now, and I told myself, I'm going to stay in all of it. I know some girls are like, don't call me a man, don't call me a man, but I understand when you say you're a trans, I mean you're two spirits, I mean you are a man and a woman. Apply when necessary, it does not hold power to you unless you make it get power to yourself. Now some people are going to call me on my name, and that's fine. I have to learn to accept that part and hear what I hear and don't hear what I don't want to hear. Every time somebody says something, it doesn't need to get a response, and sometimes you can ignore everything. Just like a babysitter, a little kid that keeps crying, you ignore them and they'll stop crying. So the thing about it is with me, it's like I'm a stand in it all. So today I went outside, and normally I always stay covered up, I always keep everything covered up because I'm always staying in my frame of mind. I guess by me doing all these videos, and of course, men coming into my life, mentally breaking me down, so, um, and not mentally building me up. And when I say that, that means that a lot of guys make me feel like I'm, I'm less than. And after a certain amount of spirits keep ripping your spirit out, the light that once was in you before they came to you is now dim and not almost gone. Now you find other ways as far as getting high or getting, eating a lot, drinking a lot, um, exercise, doing a lot of things as far as, you know, mental build up because it's the back of the matter that the light you have once inside of you is now gone. And my personal opinion is, it's not... It's not society so much when it came to me. It's because I allowed men into my life that basically didn't build me up and only they did was tear away, tear me up down, beat me down. I got to find I wasn't dressed anymore. I only wore the clothes when I wanted to do the video. Only did the only wore the clothes when I did the videos. I did not wear the clothes outside only because I was always staying ready for my turn. And if you know what I'm talking about, I mean my turn as far as being murdered on the street. 
I did not want to be the kind of person that was unprepared in a situation I should have been prepared for. It's nothing like being in a situation thinking, well, damn, I should have brought this, should have brought that with me. If I would have known this would have happened, I left stuff at home and stuff like that. Now, I'm saying bring weapons, stuff like that, but you know you must have to some type of protection with you. And the thing is this, and that's not even transition, this is a people skill issue, stuff like that, because sometimes the person that's going to save your life is going to be you. By no means I'm saying go take the law into your own hand for, pe for, for, for people that may misconstrue this. Excuse me, so today I went out and stuff, I wore a shirt that was like Billy the Villain showing a lot of tattoos and you know, what my tights think of, some reason these tights fit me better as far as the loose feeling and the jeans and stuff squeeze me and I understand why the heavy set girls or the big girls like me wear loose fitting clothes because it fits our body much more better, it's much more comfortable because when jeans and stuff are so tight and they're not really, um, they're not really comfortable, they're squeezing us and stuff together and I know sometimes girls that wear jeans and stuff that look really cute on them but they also have stretch jeans but unfortunately I do have a pair of stretch jeans but they're like high water type and I really didn't want to wear that. I like the way the jeans, like the tights all the way down to the bottom to my feet. So, I went to class and stuff, it was a full house, of course, all new people and stuff that was in there and stuff, and I'm sitting there and stuff, and I'm waiting for one to start, you know that, you know the snicker and stuff, they glanced around, people really didn't pay me too much of my, I definitely didn't try to pay anybody too much of my, one girl sat right next to me just looking at me, and I, I felt them bothered, I was like, you know what it is, what it is, and she said something to me, that's the question, how will I'm going to react? Now, I understand she may say, well, are you a man? Or she may say, are you trans? Or she say, well, you already know what you are. I don't know. But my thing is just that it's all in the delivery. Now, if I'm someone asking me if I'm trans, or someone asking me if I'm a man, I'm absolutely going to say no. I'm not going to say yes. So you can forget that. I'm going to say no, I'm not. Are you? Or I'm going to walk away. I don't sit back and say no. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give you what you may want. I'm not gonna give you what you're fishing for. That's not what I'm doing. I don't care if I'm walking around with a big hand all the way down to my fucking knees. I'm gonna say woman. Cause if I'm dressed like a woman, that's what I'm gonna be. I don't care what you may determine me as. I don't care what you may call me behind my back or to my face. I'm gonna still represent who I am. I'm not gonna let your words stick to me like I've let men come to my to my life and stick words to me that stop my self esteem, kill my growth, and allow. And the reason why I say the men is because. Society, I expect that. I expect society to hurt me. I expect society to go against me. I have the parents that even throw me away. So I understand that part as far as that. But as a man coming to me, I feel as if he's supposed to be my support system and my best friend. And a lot of times men only see me as a sexual object. And sometimes after a certain period of time of men, you start feeling less than. You start feeling hurt. You start feeling abandoned. You start feeling everything that the parents once did to you. You start feeling the one thing as far as society throws you out on the outside. And then you feel like the man is supposed to be support you is also now the inside help on destroying your mind so I have to watch how I move when it comes to men I have to watch their delivery if they come to build my spirit or they come to make more make sure that my spirit become more dim and I have to watch that and I started listening to men and I started listening to the conversation of men and I understand when it comes to a lot of men they're some of them are uneasy, some of them come in different ways and set different patterns. Some will stand with you, but even the ones that stand with you, sometimes it's not always with you. They just do certain things to show they can stand with you. Now, I've had guys take me out on the for forefront into society, hold my hand and stuff like that, but they were not really, they was not really forthcoming with their truth. When, they, when I say that, it means one guy actually had a girlfriend who was trans, and he never let me know, and we was all around going places, and then all of a sudden I found he had a girlfriend. He lied. And there was another guy who basically felt like he needed to go date all the girls, stuff like that, and all of a sudden he wanted to take me up, but it never took, it never took place. And there were some guys and stuff that I went um, places with, but then it was a shame to me when it came to taking me to the next level, as far as businesses, as far as corporations. So my thing is this, if they're not building your spirit, they should not be there. Make sure you listen to the conversation when they have it with you, because I feel like those are the main ones, and I'm not trying to shoot all guys out, because some guys are good, some guys will build you. Some guys are your strength. Some guys are your ladder. And I'm not saying that they're not. But the problem is, is that we have to watch the ones that's coming with us and watch the ones that's pulling themselves to us. Are they looking as a, as a person or somebody from a porn video? So sometimes they make you feel like you're comfortable in that setting, but it's all a trick to the to the menu. Just like this other guy who told me, he said, well, I needed to serve him, basically service him as far as 
belittle myself to make him feel like a stronger person. And when it came down to it, he's like, I'm not going to be out of with you. So you see me as a man if you call yourself out of with me. So you mentally making me feel like I'm less than once again. Because I'm thinking that you're the kind of person that could be spiritually connected to me. But you don't see me spiritually connected to me. Also had a conversation with people who said, well, just because you had the sex and surgery, you're still a man. Now, I don't understand how you be trans attracted when you're making that kind of co conversation when you used to be a support system. Because in the same breath, we can always share the conversation back to men, and they don't understand that part. We, we could easily ask two spirit women, say, well, you a fan because you like girls like me, and Billy like dick. You know, we could, we could reverse the conversation on you and start fucking with your mind, but we don't do that to me. I'm not saying that all girls are good. I'm going to say with me. I don't do that to you because I already know it's a hard enough struggle for you to stand in your truth, and that it was a hard enough struggle. <laughs> So God, I know it's a hard enough struggle, struggle for you to stand in your truth, and I know it's a hard enough struggle for you to live your life. And the sad part about it is, when it comes to trans attractive men who basically want to be with us, is once they finally get in their head that men are going to talk about him, and regardlessly, if you have a sister woman or two spirit woman, but I'm not going to go there with you guys. But better yet, let me just talk to you guys for a minute. Um, trans transattracting. My thing is this: the same way that the guys, the girls are going to talk about you, cis woman, the same they're going to talk about you if you had a two spirit woman. Once you stop living, it's the day you start living, and that's what happened within me and myself today. I had to cut everything out. I had to start eliminating all the negative things that was coming into me that was toxic, toxically beat me, beat me down mentally. Because if they do a good enough job on you, I'm gonna tell you something. It'll make you start believing every negative thing that they start say about you. You start looking in the mirror. You start seeing things they say, which is not there, but in your mind it's there because that's what they told you. They were saying it as a friend. And every time somebody says something about a friend, so I wouldn't be lying to you. They are lying to you. There's a certain type of level they want to keep you on and want to make sure you don't get to the next level. So you got to be careful of the venom of the snakes that's actually around you. That's basically sucking all the life out of you. The dream destroys that actually they are not for the benefit of your factor as far as you move forward in life it become a growth for the girls that's coming behind you you have to be very careful how you move you have to be careful how you shift and my thing is this is once you close everybody off the day you start living people don't exist unless you start looking at them you can go through life and just move on and mind your business and keep moving like you're just so busy with no don't want to be bothered and that's how you should move my personal opinion. But that day I told myself, I said, the day I'm going to start living, I'm no longer hot on myself. I didn't really not look. I can't hide myself anyway. But I always say very low key. I didn't really show anything because I was always in fear of being murdered, being attacked. And due to the fact that I have been attacked by guys on the street, but they already knew what it was. And they tried to rape me. I don't know if that has something to do with it as well. But I had to move a certain type of way within my mind of thinking. And the ones who are going to know is going to know. Those who are not going to know is not going to know. When the issue comes in the rise, I'll let y'all know how I handle it. I'm not going to say I'm perfect, but I'll let you know how I handle it. But the thing about it is I want to share it with you. I'm understanding all of it. My whole thing is I'm understanding all of me. I don't want to step into half of me. So I'm just a woman. I want to step in all of it. So when someone presents itself to me as far as being negative, I will not react to it because I won't care. And that's my thing to you. I would not want you to care. I want someone's opinion of you to be bigger than what you are. So at the point, you have to close your, mind, your ears off, close your eyes, and walk into your light, into your truth. And let everything that don't agree with it, don't exist. It don't exist. You can divorce the world, honey, and you can move right through it and get your money and get your career and everything you want. And anything that comes for you that's positive, you pull to you. Anything that's not positive, you don't see you. I don't see you. I don't see you. I don't hear you. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you on this Tuesday. I love you guys. Comment below. at the top of this Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. Let you I love you. And thank you for watching. Catch the rain. All right. Now, come on, Raven. Let's go on Instagram. Woo. Like I said before, subscribe to my channel. At the top of this notification bell. Hit the notification bell. And also hit the like and subscribe and share this video. It's a motivation video to help you live in your truth. And no longer hide. And it is time for us to stop caring what other people think. And it's only care about our own thoughts. As we move forward in this life of living and career choices. Comment below. Love you. Love you.